Hey guys, D Mike here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time in Bowser's Kingdom, we were able to infiltrate his fortress, take down Brutal Tron, but now we have to chase Bowser all the way to the moon in our pea balloon. So if you're ready for that, consider liking the video, commenting, subscribing, all of the above. You know the deal. The last episode of this performed really well, so thank you for all of that. For some reason, this is getting some additional fanfare with the music. Oh. Time to go crash that wedding. How about it, viewers? What do you think? Is that a good idea? Don't do that in real life. That's weird. Looks like everything's on fire. We're heading to the moon. Eat your heart out, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin in the third guy that no one talks about. Mario's looking very dapper, though, in that outfit. Through the power of P, we will lift off to the moon. It's going to be really hard for me not to continue to make that joke just because it has a good inflection, good rhythm. Honey Loon Ridge. Oh, man. Is it time for the final area of the game, viewers? Bowser's Moon Wedding. How is that ship up there flying? How are we here without breathing? Okay. It's probably not worth any of that. See, we do look dapper. I called it first. No time to... I've also been saying dilly-dally a lot, so... Apparently, Cappy and I are on the same wavelength. Alright, so... As per usual, let's go ahead and, uh... Do a little peek. Finally getting this down after 20 episodes. The Moon Kingdom. Destination above all others. Honeyloon Ridge, the new frontier of lunar life. Population unknown? The size is lunar. The locals are rabbitish. Currency is star bit shaped. Weird. The industry is tourism and weddings, that's all. Temperature unknown. So we got some lunar life forms. Just the one church. So apparently all lunar weddings are tied to some sort of celestial religion. Who knows? The wedding hall. The moon frog. This frog now lives in Honeyloon Ridge, brought to the moon. By the first pioneers, it's now considered a good omen for visit. Okay. So apparently there's a lunar frog. The cubes of mystery. There's secrets in the lunar interior. And a view to remember. Here's the three keys to the kingdom. Experience the floaty feeling of lighter gravity. Listen to the glorious bells of the wedding hall. And see the mysterious moon rocks. Supposedly, energy. Made solid. Energy. Cool. Do we feel light on our feet, Cappy? You bet we do. Obviously, being on the moon, gravity is a lot lower than it is on Earth. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that. Oh, Earth. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful, viewers? I don't know if there's anything I can do. Oh, okay. Just destroying uh, spots on the moon. Yeah, this is another... Another part of the game where you're just like, what the heck is happening? If that's where your brain goes, we are in similar company because I got nothing for you. But oops. Okay, cool. Just showing you what happens when you jump off the edge. A little tutorial here for the Moon Kingdom. We'll try that again. Going over here. If you're careful enough. With some fancy footwear. Where was it? Uh, boy. It looks like there's a baddie over there. He looks a little scary. Here we go. Yeah, the gravity takes a little moment to get used to. You have to take a little bit of smaller steps, but it's time for some 2D mode. I'm going to shut up for a second so you can enjoy this too. Looks like the platforms here are made out of those cubes of energy. I don't remember what location it is. I know that it's in a Final Fantasy game. Along the cliff face, great. Um, I want to say maybe there's probably one up here too. Or at least some star bit chunks. Oh, that's lame. I thought there would have been another. 
on the power moon up here, but apparently not. I want to say it's Final Fantasy 2, as in Final Fantasy Original 2, not Final Fantasy 4, the one that came out on the Super Nintendo. Maybe one of the final areas where you're, um, I think it's called Pandemonium. One of the final areas of the game that you have to go and beat off a bunch of enemies. Or it could be the actual moon from Final Fantasy IV. Spoilers! All right. So if we go down this ridge, we can explore the lower area. These don't really look like star bits to me. These look like evil star bits. I don't know if there's a crazy cap store around here somewhere we can trade this in, but I imagine we're probably gonna stick with this outfit for a hot minute. If I had to guess. Can't ruin a long tail tuxedo after all. It's a very classic fit, of course. Can I do this from this side? Whoa. Yeah, everything here, uh, mobility, it feels... It feels pretty weird. Do these things have sentience? Are they coming after me? Oh, yeah. The jumping mechanic with the reduced gravity is a little tricky. If you've played Tears of the Kingdom, the sequel to Breath of the Wild, you'll probably feel similarly when some of the areas in that game get a little floaty. This is kind of like that. This is actually a little, like almost more floaty than that. Whoa. I do not appreciate you doing that, sir. Can I capture you? Nope, but I can do this. Nope. Well, if you time your jumps properly, viewers, then you can. I done goofed. We are appreciating my uh, attempted exploration here. We'll call it that because I'm not confident in anything that I'm doing. Can I land on you? Ooh. All right. Did I kill you or are you murdered? That seemed a little bit too easy. Those guys kind of look like Maybe the vitamin D deficient version of the soda thief from the seaside kingdom. What is this? How do I break this? Do I butt stomp it? Maybe I gotta butt stomp it. Viewers, you feeling butt stompy? Nope. I don't understand. Oh, it's like a little football. Rolling rock on the moon. Who's ready for a beer? All right. So there is a rabbit. The brochure did say that this area is quite rabbitish. Hello. Oh my gosh, look at you. Oh, he's got a little hat on. Look at him. Oh, you're mine, sir. I'm trying not to, like, do any sort of additional movement here because... I'm already experiencing extreme floatiness. There we go. Please stop moving. I'm just smash into you and take your life savings. Thanks, bud. Caught hopping on the moon. I feel like going to the moon is obviously one of the most extraordinary things a human can do. And only a select few have done so. You know, there's conspiracy theorists out there who believe that we've never been. However, those people are, how do you say, dumb. So, going to the moon is something that quite a few people have actually done. We only think of, you know, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. I am learning something probably at the halfway point of this series. <laughs> Our planet? What are you talking about, Cappy? Who do you think you are? Oh, viewers, it's beautiful. I already made that joke. Okay, never mind. So there's nothing else up here, apparently, except for more star bits. I don't think I can get up to that area over there yet. And if I can, then I'll come back for it eventually. Oops. Not trying to wall clean. Whee! Mario's having a good time. He must be wearing some magic underpants that lets him breathe out here. I don't know. Viewers, what are your thoughts? 
How is Mario not being crushed by the gravity of the moon, the coldness of outer space? Who knows? Let's do a long jump here. Cool. Oh, I just made that. Now that should be enough to crazy cap a new outfit if there is one. I don't remember if there is or not. We will find that out eventually. For now, on the Ringing Bells Plateau, there are speed flowers here. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Is there... Oh, there's a chest over here. Let's see if we can do that cool trick. Nope. I wonder if I could have made it if I wouldn't have. Because I kind of pulled back a little bit. Huh. I like the sound of that. It's like, no, don't do it. All right, so... Unless there's a bridge that gets built somehow. I'm just going to try one more long jump. Whoop. Mario is very excited about plunging to his death. We'll come back to that another time. Because I'm clearly not doing that correctly. Oops. That's fine. I don't... Ooh, I wonder... Maybe you need this speed flower for it. Maybe that's what this does. It sure does. Wow. It's almost like I... Uh, should have paid attention to the... To the hints literally on either side of said chest. Oops. Give me this. Whee! It does give you a little bit of a boost. Very cool. Yeah, everywhere in this kingdom is very creepy. Meant to be a little off-putting, of course. This guy's firing gosh dang ice cream cones at us. I just said ice cream. That's how you know where I'm from. Gonna eat my ice cream with a spoon. Whoop. All right, where's the shadow? There we go. Still just gets you coins. Don't really need those. We did see them, Cappy. Good eyes. You got two of them. Is there anything over here? I'm just taking my time because I... I made this point a while ago in the Let's Play of how... The later you get into a game is the closest to where your memory should be, where you last left off, but I don't remember any of this, so. Oh, cool! Should have probably clicked that first. This little long jump puzzle here. Line it up. Line it. Just line it up. Okay. It's another moon. It's already got five. Taking notes. Ooh, I like that. That is... Very punny, and I appreciate it. Another boy down there. Just looking ominous. I think we've gotten all kind of the common sense moons so far. Not really a whole ton left to do here. Got to grab another speed flower and jump the shark over here. Let's do it! Okay. We can grab another checkpoint. Watch out. The hole back there is real deep. That's what you see. All right. I don't know if there's anything else around the corner. Looks like there might be a little hidden secret back here. Ooh, it's the Sphinx. Hello. Haven't seen one of these in a while. Let's answer the riddle. Hmm, well, no. Stingy. Stingy. Oops. I'm assuming that no is going to... <laughs> Do I not... Is that just it? Okay. So apparently we gotta come back for that because the Sphinx... It's being a turd burglar. All right. I see how it is. I don't know what there is really to see. Bowser's moon wedding. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. And the brutals themselves, way up there. Okay, well, I'm assuming that the game wants us to explore this crevasse. So let's do it. 
Not really like we have much else of a choice. Okay, I guess we're just... That goes down. So maybe we're inside the... Ooh. Okay. Underground moon caverns. Wasn't I expecting this? If you want to go back out, there is that pipe, of course. The gravity is certainly normal. I think everybody here is wearing, like, wedding stuff, which I think is really nice. Like, the dry bones in there. Their wedding hats. But we need these boys to be able to fly around. But you gotta mash the button. It's a little annoying. We're gonna make the best of it. Or not. For a second, I thought Mario was like Metal Mario. I think that was just him covered in soot. Okay, great. Let's try that again. That went splendidly. Of course, I'm actually gonna be a little more careful in approaching these guys. Seems like HP is at a bit of a premium here, and I don't want to deal with... Okay, that hitbox is a little bogus. Whoop. Yeah, this is going swimmingly. I'm going to clear out the way here a little bit. Whoop, 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 whoop. Am I completely missing? <laughs> I'm sorry, that face that Mario just made when I got emoided was... Pretty great. What is that up there? It's a green something. I completely ignored this. I, what is this? Oh, you can move the statue? What? Viewers, I am so observant. How many of you knew that was there? Probably none. I might actually be the first person to ever get this moon. Honestly, I wouldn't doubt it. All right, cool. That's what you get at D-Mike Industries. Yeah. Let's go ahead and see. I have got a feeling that they might have hidden something back here. Oops. Should not have done that. That was dumb. I was trying to move the camera. I've already died like six times. This episode's all about... Not taking care of yourself, apparently. Whoa! Whoa! Shake the Pro Controller to fly faster? I will not. I will fly at this speed? Yeah, I don't... I feel like if they wanted you to get something... Ooh, those dry bones are creepy. Um, the camera would have rotated with you. I don't have any control over it, which is awesome. Very cool. All right, let's avoid these balls. I'm taking way too many balls to the noggin. Before we go there, what's over here? Probably can't go into the lava, so we will ignore it. Yeah, I don't understand. Maybe that's just set design. That's okay. All right, let's blast these boys. Bam! I did not mean to do that. Oh, I got hit by the. I got, oh, there's a lava plume underneath me. We're gonna have to wait for this one to come back, unfortunately, because we can't. Uh, progress without it. Watch out for the lava underneath you. Looks kind of like pumpkin spice ice cream. It's that time of the year. If you don't like pumpkin spice, you can get it out. I like a good pumpkin spice. Not really an ice cream, not, sorry. Not really a coffee boy. Never have been. But, uh, I can absolutely respect anything that's pumpkin pie flavored. You bet your buns. You are, you are in hot pursuit, my friend. I need you to calm down. Oh, a little gnarly. Okay. I do love everybody having wedding hats is is really good. I do like that a lot. Wait, there's a key? Hold on a second. Where was there a key? I did not see a key anywhere. Unless we got to come back for it? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I can make this. Come here. Come here. Come here. Dry buns, come here. Please. Oh, I'm about to waste this. Hot, 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 hot. Should probably get my buns in gear because I'm not doing very well and I am taking way too much time to do this. I did not see any semblance of a, uh, of a key. So, you know what? We'll come back to it. 
Maybe. I say that sometimes, and then I look at the footage after I'm done, I'm like, yeah, I didn't go back to it. I'll catch that if I forget to do it. I'm just gonna put disclaimers in everything I do and just say that I may or may not do it. It's safe that way. Then you can't come back at me and say I didn't do, do or say it or whatever. Good languages. Okay, so that cannot be destroyed. Oh man. Oh jeez. Oh, this this level is painful. You got like a nice relaxing jaunt through that part of the moon and then here I am on the inside just getting burned up, literally. I'm trying to keep these episodes shorter, but this is probably not gonna be the case. Let's see if I can find a nice stopping point eventually. Get away from me. I don't have time for any of you goobers. All right. The game is very generously offering me a power heart, so I will take it. And I will close the gap here. And I don't know where that key is. Maybe you have to come back for it. But as of right now, I'm not super worried. We'll do it another time. Or not. Or we won't do it another time. Ooh. It's not ready for that to start moving. I don't know what I thought was going to happen. I'm like, oh yeah, maybe if we hit the switch, the solo will be fine. Alright, I think I do need this hammer boy. You finally get to put those demons to rest. Oh boy. Put those demons to rest of all the times hammer bros have probably taken you out when you were a kid playing the original Marios. And you just got to hammer away, literally. Smash that button. Smash the like bell, subscribe. All those things. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. And then grab him right again. No. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, they have uh, the Tropical Kingdom Wigglers here. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of my space. Oh, boy. I probably needed to keep one of those. Uh... Get up there. No, Mario, come on. Oh. Yeah, I don't... I don't think that's what the game wanted me to do. That's okay. We'll come back another time. Or not. Did I need one of those? Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool. Not cool. What is happening? Yikes. Oh, Bullet Williams. Can I control... Oh, yes. Oh, are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, there's no checkpoint either. Oh, that's a bummer. I don't think. Oh, no, there was. Okay. Whew. I'd say that would be devastating having to go back. I don't know why the game treated it like that. It's very strange. Where do you want me to go? Those little bullet bills there. Oh, look at them, look at little babies. Blap. Yeah, I'm just kind of plowing through here. Oh boy. Get there. All right, that worked. Ooh. Back to the totem statues. Put on your shades. Hurry. Can only go quickly. Oh boy. No! <laughs> oh, viewers, it's a symphony of... A symphony of errors. I promise I'm trying my best. You're getting to see plenty of this. That giant bullet bill coming at you, though, is kind of scary. Ah! Look at this. Oh, I didn't know I was going to do that. All right. But you can just go right to the source here. Right to the sauce. Oh, there's a moon over here. Trying to hide that from me. Around the barrier wall. Maybe this makes up for the key moon that I didn't get. I have no idea where that key was going to be. How do I... Can you give me one of the big boys? Where is, where is they? I think I might need one of these little ones. 
But these are, these are about to explode right when they touch me. Is it even possible to grab one of them? Oh, maybe it resets. Probably have to go around the outside here. Around the outside. Whoa! Why is that what happened? It's probably for the best, actually, just given the silliness of what I was doing. Yeah, the progress that we're making in today's episode is questionable. I need a lot of moons, though. Was that seven? You can't come. I mean, you could complain about that if you want. Kind of sounds like something from like Dance Dance Revolution. Okay. So let's try this again. We're going to, of course, not take as long as we did in order to get there. All right. This is a little tricky. Ooh, made it. The game is pulling out all the stops to see if you remember what to do. Oh boy. There's a lot of level left. <laughs> I'm not feeling very confident. Oh, there's a charge and chuck. I don't know if you've run into one of these yet. Oh, what do you get to do? Yes! Boom! Heck yes! I don't think he can jump, so... We're on our own again. There's another charge and chuck over here. Got an Indiana Jones our way out of the... Bowser Vicin Bowser Boulder vicinity. I cannot talk. I don't care about those, so I'm not gonna risk that. Ooh, how did you? That's just bad timing. Yep. Let's go. Uh, let's go. LFG. All right. That was a lot smoother than some of the other transitions so far. This feels like a boss fight. And that's how we're going to probably end today's episode. Looks like this is a bit of a rematch with Madam Brutal from before. Looking as beautiful as ever. Oh, you're right, I was. Called you Fluffy. Oh, no. Chain Chomp against. Ooh, that's terrifying. All right. So as you can see, Madam Brutal, Chain Chompikins, I guess that's what its name is now. Um, the rematch. Oops. The music has been redone as well, which is nice. Getting hit in the face with your own pet seems a little painful. Whoa. Pretty low on uh, HP though, so I'm a little annoyed. This. Thankfully, the game does telegraph where Chain Chompikins is gonna go. That's that's a death. Oh boy. Did I go into that fight with only one HP or maybe two tops? Now, viewers, listen to this. Oh, I did only. I had one reduced because of the uh, the charge and chuck fiasco. That's okay. We'll sort this out. Does this music kind of give you, like, Sonic Adventure vibes? Maybe, like, Sonic Adventure 2 vibes, like the butt rock. Boom, <laughs> you know? Live and learn! All that stuff. I was really into that stuff as a kid, but that was back in the era where kind of new metal was the soup du jour of the music world. All right, let's try this fight again. More carefully. Do you have to do this? I feel like you do. All right, back to it. So Chain Chompikins has three hats, as you can see. And if you track it down... Oops. Probably should not be taking hits this early into the fight. But her bumping into the Chain Chomp is actually pretty useful. Just don't let her hit you. All right. Splendid. Cappy is fully on board with violence. Ooh. <laughs> That's not good. We're gonna need to be a little more careful here. You can kind of chase it down a little bit. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can get in its path. When it goes opposite of the way that you're going. Oh, that's cheap. Oh, viewers, third time's a charm, hopefully, because I don't want to do this fight again. Oh. Yeah, this, uh... 
just encapsulates my lack of goodness at this game. Did not mean to go that way. I'm trying to actually speed this up because this episode is going on far too long. As much as I would love to have a... North of 30 minute episode, I don't actually. It's the opposite of what I want. I promised you that I was gonna try to consolidate the timing of these episodes. Oh, just don't fall off of this, please. Get a control of your, sh of your shtick. There we go. Ooh, that even made the sound from uh, Super Mario World. Oh, wow, I like that. I'm shaking this, sh I'm shaking it. I'm shaking it, viewers. I'm shaking it for you. All right. Now that we know the mechanics, chain chompicans. I think it helps just to get closer. I was probably, or just let her hit it. That was what my problem was. She's gonna give you two swats, I think, and then go for the pull. And that's when you can do your damages. Okay. And she's gonna toss the chain chomp back into the ring. Just make sure you bob and weave here. Run to the end of the chain chomp's rope. And then you can make your move. Ooh, I didn't know I did not know that was gonna happen. At least it doesn't respawn its hats. Just don't let her touch you. They're gross fat rabbit fingers. Okay, that's two. This music almost kind of sounds like the Elite Four uh, theme from, like maybe not Elite Four, but uh, Blue's theme or Lance's theme from Pokemon in the Elite Four. Spoilers! Oh, I'm not. I'm not removing as many hats as I would have liked to. Did he have five? Apparently I don't know how to count. There we go. Let's get out of the way here. Don't let her extend this fight any longer than we need to. Ooh, she is out of breath and out of time. We have since murdered this portly woman twice. Ooh, sorry. And that doesn't net you anything besides passageway to the next area. So that's pretty, uh, pretty intense amount of progress. And we're gonna explore this area next time. Thanks for watching everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey. I'll catch you next time. Bye.